So then guys, as we move along in the great AI world, there's some fantastic tools out there. And a good example of this, something I've been playing around with, is Prome AI. What allows me to generate my own kind of technical pictures out there and also say edit my sort of sketches into sort of real life AI photos. And today I want to give you a bit more of a demonstration of Prome AI and how powerful it is and why you should maybe check out this tool. So I think the best thing to do is for me to whip Around my MacBook Air here and let me show you everything to do with this tool. So once you're on the Prome AI website here, it gives you some really powerful tools to do things with photos, pictures and all sorts what we're going to cover over today. And the first thing what I think I'm going to show you guys is the sketch rendering tool because this looks really, really cool. I've actually got a sketch of an iPhone what I want to put into this and I want to convert it into a full live picture. Now let's give this a go then. So all I have to do is select the sketch rendering tool here on the main website. And as you can see here, I can upload a picture. So I'm going to click upload photo. And then, so for example, we've got my actual sketch sort of picture here. There it is. So if I click upload there, it's going to upload that kind of picture. We can see here I've got my iPhone sketch there. So let's say that I actually want a smartphone in, let's say, black. Uh, let's actually say, let's say I want it in shiny black there. And obviously it's got the reference picture and everything like that. It's using my image. And then obviously I can change actually the sort of style, what I want here. There's lots of different kind of styles. You can see here, look, I can actually do from photography to anime if I wanted to do that. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. And I can actually choose like the type of theme that I want to do. I can even go old school. You know, do you know like that program? What was it? Fallout? And I wanted it kind of like that kind of old sort of 1950s style. I love that program. That's a story for another day. But you could actually kind of change it into that but let's give us a go let's go for a cinematic approach here so i'm just going to select that and then we'll have a bit more of a play around with other bits and pieces so i'm going to do that and then obviously we can choose how much artistry we want to have this you know how much more kind of a picture of arty we want it to be so i'm actually going to put that 25 percent and then what we're going to do then is we're going to click generate here so this is quite fast look at this so this is 32%. This is making three pictures here all at the same time. This is really, really fast and efficient here. I'm actually quite surprised here how it's going to do this. Grabbing our sketch, changing it, converting it. So let's see then what has turned out here. And look at that. That is super impressive. I actually really, really like that. Look at this. Let's open up this one. I actually hope that Apple would do that. Look at that. You've actually got like gold rings around the camera. That's cool. I like this blue. Wow. I'm actually really, really surprised there. Look, we can still edit it as well. There's lots of different bits and pieces what we can actually change here. So for example, I don't know, let's say we want to do the HD upscaler here. Click on that. And then obviously what we got, we've got the actual picture. And then what we can do is we can actually make that actually more kind of more HD as it were. We'll make it a bit more sharper. So if I click the generate sort of picture there. And then obviously what it's going to do is it's actually going to make my picture into HD. Obviously it's taking a bit of time to do that because it needs to grab it. And it needs to make it a bit more sharper. So let's see what happens then. So now if I actually open up that picture, look at that. That is far sharper. Look, if we compare it here, you can actually see... Can you see there, like it's not as sharp around like the camera ring, but if I go here, look how much more sharper that is comparing both these pictures. That is really good that we can actually intensify that kind of picture. I think I'm actually really, really impressed with that. So with this sort of more sharper picture, let's see what else we can actually edit now. So let's say if I want to go in here and I want to use the erase and replace tool instead, let's have a look then what this can do. So I can select this, uh, let's just get rid of that one there and let's let that load up. And there we go, we've actually got our picture. So what we can actually do is that we can actually do different parts here. So what I want to actually do is I want to recolor, for example. So if I select the recolor, and we can select what we actually want to do, uh, we can actually change what we want to actually change the color to. So let's say I wanted a different color altogether. Let's go for a red this time. Every time, you know, with iPhones, we complain that we're not getting enough sort of red colors on sort of smart pro kind of iPhones out there. The normal iPhone get product red, but what about like the Pro series. So let's do red there and let's generate then and make this picture now red. What's going to be really, really good. I want to see a red iPhone. So let's have a look then at this conceptual idea then what's going to happen here with AI. And there we have it. We have different kind of reds here. So we have more of a kind of a red, red kind of look and a bit more of a paler sort of red. 
I'm not too keen, I'm going to be deadly honest, on that kind of red colour. It's not exactly how I wanted it to be, but it does look pretty cool how you can actually change it. Like, we've actually got the Apple logo and things like that, what is pretty awesome. But we can also do more sort of configurations here. So let's say if we go back here and we do something else, we want to erase and up replace something again. And let's say that this time what I wanted to do was I actually want to make one of the camera lenses square. Let's say that one. Let's say this top one up here. I want to make this. I want to replace it. Turn the erase part into a square camera lens. So, you know, this is really, really cool here that I can do this. Obviously, I've selected it there in the purple. And then what we can do is we can select generate. And then we can just leave this run now. So, obviously, I've got my other red sort of iPhones there on the bottom. But let's see then what happens and there we have it. We've got different sort of lenses here. So there we go. You can see it's not really funny square, but it's kind of changed my sort of lens here. What would actually happened. So that is pretty cool that I like how it's changed that. And then something else that we can actually do is we can do some other bits and pieces. So let's say we want to do the out painting. So we actually want to widen out this picture. So let's say that I actually want to have a black background with this picture instead now. So let's see what happens here. So if I click the actual generate there. And as you can see here, here's the result. That is pretty cool. I like that how we've got a black background. It's actually widened out the picture there. And we've actually got that sort of black sort of glow merging in. That is pretty cool. Let's get it bigger there for you guys. Look at that. That is really, really cool. I like that. So obviously, like I said, we can do this kind of HD upscale again if we wanted to do that, if we really, really want to. But yeah, obviously, it looks absolutely amazing. Or say, like I like to do on my channel, I like to do rings. So this is an Apple ring concept. This is a sketch of one. And let's give it a prompt here. Let's say silver metal um, Apple ring. And it excludes, uh, let's say silver. Yeah, silver, metallic, and luster. Let's just put that in there. And then... After that, what we can do is we can go to the style. Let's make that cinematic. I wanted to make it a bit more of a dramatic kind of look there. So, yeah, let's go with cinematic. I think it's probably the best thing we can do here. But then let's move over to the actual scene. Now, for me, um, this is kind of like electronics, isn't it? And everything and stuff. So not fashion design, not this, not footwear, definitely not that. Aha, consumer electronics. And yeah, really, I would say out of this, it's probably closest to like a fitness tracker, isn't it? The Apple ring, what it's going to be. So we can select on that. Creativity sounds good. And let's generate then. Let's see what we get here. It takes a second or two, obviously, to load to generate those AI images. But let's see what the results are, how good this is going to be with these free results we're going to get thrown back at us. Oh, wow. There we go. Oh, wow. That is amazing. Look at those three. That is really impressive. That's all from that sketch, guys. Remember that. So that's really impressive that we've got this cinematic sort of Apple ring right here. But there are so many kind of other tools here in Prome AI. And let me show you one or two other ones. So let's have a look at the AI image generator. This is really, really cool. I love this tool. So let's keep it on this. Let's create, for example, some smart glasses. So what we can actually say here, let's say a man wearing smart glasses here or let's say smart computer glasses let's say that just give it a little bit more structure there. and then we can change the sort of style and in fact do you know what i'm going to do this time we're going to do it in a kind of a sci-fi sort of style this time but you know we do have those other options conceptual art lots of different sort of choices there obviously illustration everything like that so that's pretty cool but obviously what i'm going to do is i'm going to go for that sci-fi kind of look right here and obviously i'm going to turn up that artistry just there a little bit to make it a bit more fun and everything so what we can do then we can just click generate and let's see what kind of picture we're going to get and there we go look at that for smart glasses open up this picture here that is pretty cool actually i actually like that <laughs> maybe this is what the future of like apple glasses or something like this is going to be in the future but that's got that really good that's got a man here using kind of a smart kind of smart glasses there 
It kind of reminds me of that movie. What was it called? Ready Player One. That kind of look there. <laughs> That's pretty cool. But yeah, that is really, really awesome. And obviously, I've made a few other pictures here in the past too. But yeah, overall, that is awesome. But let's try something a bit different. Let's try that again. But let's do it in a sort of a fantasy style. And this time, we'll tone it down a little bit. Let's see what sort of smart glasses look like then in a fantasy style. This is going to be quite cool to see. And there we have it. Let's have a look then. So this one here, look, it's got more of a sort of a classic kind of look here. I actually really like that, actually. That's a really cool picture. But you get the idea. That's kind of like in a semi sort of sci-fi sort of way. But again, we can actually change all the sort of styles. Let's do it as an anime this time. Let's do it as a cartoon. And this time I'm actually going to turn it up a bit more detail. Let's go a bit more fun here. Let's go 65%. And then let's click generate again. And let's see what happens here then in a sort of cartoon anime style. And there we go, we've got it there. So look at that for a cool sort of picture, futuristic in a way. That is pretty awesome. I actually like that. That's pretty cool sort of anime sort of photo there. A um, bit different obviously to the other ones that we have. But yeah, that's really, really great. Now, obviously, if you don't have any kind of photos or images ready, you can actually use some of the sketch sort of rendering photos that are already available on Prome AI. So for example, let's say a smartphone again, if I just type that into here. You can see we're presented with loads of different kinds of smartphone and photos here. This reminds me, gives me vibes of a certain game, if you know what I mean. So yeah, what we can actually do is we can actually change this around if we want to. We can actually share our thoughts on it. We can download it. We can edit it. We can change it. We can do anything that we want here. But it's not just, say, technology photos that you can play around with. You can actually play around with, say, a photo of yourself. So I'm going to add myself in here. Let's see what happens. So this here is a photo of me with a parrot the other day that was on my shoulder. And let's say, let's make the parrot blue and see what happens here. And I actually want to change this style this time. And I'm actually going to make myself into a kind of realistic anime style. So this is going to be really, really cool. Uh, let's click generate and see what happens to this picture. And there we have it. Look at this. So look, the first one there. It has made it into kind of like a blue yellow macaw there there's me then obviously if i was kind of an anime i like how white my beard is now in this that's really really good <laughs> and then obviously a green sort of style power with some blue feathers in it it's a bit different again and then obviously again a bit more blue in that sort of style photo but you get the idea we can actually change everything up here with some ai with some sort of basic instructions so there we have it then guys, that is how powerful Chrome AI is and I have showed today I really really love how I can edit, manipulate pictures, change them and also get some kind of like conceptual ideas for a lot of technology and things like this and even maybe generating maybe some future thumbnails maybe with this tool into the future. But what are your thoughts on this? Have you used AI tools like this before? I'd love to know your thoughts in the comments below and also guys I just want to quickly say now if you do want to check out Chrome AI because it's such a powerful and brilliant tool do check out all of the details that are in the description of this video down below here to get yourself access to prime ai and give it a try because it is really really great and super powerful and super fast as you've seen today and with that as well guys it's time to wrap up this video so if you have enjoyed watching it please do press the like button. Also, if you want to hear the latest technology news, reviews, and comparisons too, make sure you subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell. Until next time, guys, I'll see you really soon. Take care now. Bye-bye.